Newcastle. Does not miss a game. Mm. Brilliant. The only game he missed when Pep left him out against Chelsea in the Champions League final, the idiot. He's just called Pep an idiot. But in that moment, he was an idiot. Sorry, Pep. He was an idiot. He was an idiot. What's going on, people? Welcome to Five and another episode of The Take On with myself, Flex, Anton Ferdinand, and Danny Murphy. No Matisse today. No Matisse today. Don't know. He's got his 42 points and he's he's safe he's in the, the Premier League. He's yeah. He's got <laughs> his <laughs> Havianas out, mate. He's gone. You know, he's, he's, he's saying he's top of the page two. That's right. <laughs> he's all right. He's um he's we'll not cut here without today. him. Exactly, we will. Um we've got a, a new feature actually for this show called the Take On Top Five. And that is where we are gonna go through our top fives of whether it's Premier League gaffers, midfielders, strikers, defenders, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and comprise our list. And we want you guys at home to get involved in the comments. Let us know if we're way off it, if you agree with us, or if you disagree with us. Um, and obviously, with some of the experiences that you two have had, mm. it's going to be very, very interesting to see um, some of those lists. And we will we, listen. They are not going to be afraid to let you know at home if they think you've had an absolute mare as well. Because sometimes <laughs> it takes aren't always taken. No they're problem. Not. They're not. But Joel's not here today as well, so that the takes will be better. They well, will. so it won't be five Arsenal strikers. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> he won't be putting like Davosuka exactly. in there. And that. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was all right to be fair. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. was good. He was. Or Francis Jeffers. But big up Francis Jeffers. <laughs> um, but today, top five strikers. Who are the top five strikers to have ever played in the Premier League? And we've all got to agree on this list oh, okay. and present it. That's how I want this to be presented oh, okay. to the people. We have to agree. So should we go? We'll, we'll go with the definites. Thierry Henry. Let's, let's go with the definites. Thierry definite. Thierry's a god, isn't he? I think Alan Shearer's a definite. Absolutely. Wayne Rooney's a definite. Well, I think I did. Um, I did. I got. I did a program a couple of years ago, and actually, without and a few would have been, we had to do our best, our own best Premier League eleven. Um, and which can change sometimes because you remember somebody or whatever. But yeah. I mean, I was on the show. I had to put him in it while he was there. I felt like a right beat, you know, like, uh, he, and he yeah. had a big smile on his face. But you can't deny the facts, you, can you? He's a joke. You say that you you have to put him in. You have to put him in, not because he's there. You have to put him in there because of what he done. Yeah. He yeah. was sensational. Mm. And Thierry the same. I mean, he, he's arguably the best I ever played yeah. against. In terms of, you don't really always get guys who can score the amount of goals he did, but still be brilliant at the other stuff. Yeah, he's he touch. wasn't. He wasn't the best I played against, by the way, in my opinion. Really, Anelka, Nicholas Anelka was. Anelka well, was. Anelka was harder for you to play against than, than Thierry. Than Thierry Henry. Do you know yeah. what? That's interesting, right? Because <clears throat> I still believe to this day when we we signed Nico on loan at Liverpool, and we ended up, and he was. People talked about his attitude, or he was good as gold. And he didn't always play because we had a lot of forwards, and then in that summer. Julio decided in his wisdom to sign Alagi Juve instead. Now, I know you're smiling. Poor, a but poor, poor, <coughs> poor decision. It's a bad one, isn't it? It's a bad yeah. decision. I still think if we'd have signed Nico, we might have won it that next year. Jeez, that's how good you thought it was, isn't that? Well, we were building, we were building summer. You know, we'd finished second, I think. And uh, from right in me timings. And, and I thought he could be that. You know, he just, he'd scare people. Yeah. He had games where I was coming off the pitch going, oh my God. He was oh, yeah. frightening. And actually, because he's in Thierry Henry's shadow, because as that guy from mm. France, he does get forgotten about. Thierry says it. Yeah. Thierry openly Nelka says it. And Nelka was better. Nelka was the best. Especially when he was younger, growing up. He mm. was the best. I found, for me personally, the reason why I say it is Thierry Henry, fantastic, had everything, you know. But when we play, I play against him at Highbury, uh, play against him at Upton Park and at Highbury, the one at Highbury, you know, he liked the left-hand channel. Yeah, and yeah, I played yeah. right side, centre-back. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but in the first couple of minutes, he came... You know when he drove across the pitch? He had the ball, he was driving across... And he came into my area. So I came out and I gave him one. Mm. Yeah. And like he played the ball out to Robert Perez or, or Lundberg. And they, then they got a corner. And he's like, oh, Anton, what are you doing? And I just said like... <laughs> so really? Titty, I, I love you, yeah, but today... <laughs> Yeah. I've got no respect like today it is, and there's going to be more of that and I didn't really see him for the rest of the game if I'm honest done that to Nicholas Anelka Chelsea Nicholas Anelka Bolton Nicholas Anelka I didn't find hard to play against Chelsea's Nicholas Anelka I've done that to him 
I'm bang the hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's he, why. He wrote, he, nah, he, sorry. He rolled up his sleeves and went, okay, come on then. Yeah. But do you know what? He was good in the air. He's good with the ball at his feet. He could come short to the ball and he could blitz you in behind. And that, that's everything Thierry could do. Mm. But I don't know. I, there was just something more about... So on a personal, you personal felt experience. that. But actually, yeah. what's interesting about this is actually... But, he's not, but he won't be in my top five. I was just about to say that. Actually, he's going to live on our honourable mentions list, yeah. really, Nicholas and Elka. But in terms of the dead certified on the top five, it is King of course, Thierry. Fair Thierry. enough. Um, I'm going to throw another one on there who's a dead cert as well, in my opinion. Sergio Aguero. I hear you. And I, I hear the reason. Oh, there's going to be a big butt here, Danny. <clears throat> there's not a butt, really. I just... You know, you we're talking about personal experiences. And if you're talking about the best five, which is what we are in the Premier League, yep. you've got to have some longevity, winning some yep. stuff, maybe. But I, I I saw his brilliance, and I know he's brilliant, so I'm not denying it. Right. But if you go with the obvious three, which we said, which was Shearer, Henry. Thierry, Henry, Rooney, and Rooney yep. which is just, there's no argument. Yeah, yeah. No. Then we're looking at two other places. And... I had I was fortunate that my time at Liverpool I had I was there with Michael's four best seasons of his career probably. Oh he was yeah. Oof. My God. I mean and what he did for me individually and yep. the team in terms of the goals in the finals, that this kid for three or four seasons come on the scene, four seasons he had, really, maybe five, I can't remember, but definitely four. Where he was terrifying people and, and anybody everybody was terrified of him. He was ripping it up. In a way, I mean, the only thing is with Aguero, he's in a wonderful team with amazing players. Still yeah. a brilliant striker. But Michael could make stuff happen on his own. You've played against Michael yeah. for years, didn't you? Yeah, he was, He was like I said, he, he stopped me wearing long sleeve. Um, and that yeah. was when he was at Newcastle. Yeah, <laughs> Never Newcastle. mind at Liverpool. He, 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 That's stopped, the dodgy he, stopped D, me, yeah. he stopped me wearing long sleeve shirts. Wait there, hold on guys. Is Michael Owen better than Sergio Aguero? In I, terms of, Danny Murphy saying in terms of what he done in that Premier League yeah. in them four years asking, is is unmatched to most I'm players asking, that we we're, we're talking asking, about. There's a cup final tomorrow. I, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd go. This is where I'd go on it. Yeah. And this is where you might hammer me. You might not. Go for it. The best Michael Owen. Yeah. I'd have ahead of the best Aguero. Now, in terms of what he achieved in the Premier League, you'd have to say Aguero. So if you if you two decide Aguero ahead of Michael on this list, I understand it. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't go against it. Yeah. But the best Michael Owen mm. is better than the best Aguero. Do you know what? Do you know what, Danny? I, actually, I think from the outset, just to hear that Michael Owen, Sergio Aguero, like if you don't go into the depths of football and understanding what he did in that period mm. and how good Michael Owen was at a young age, can sound crazy. But actually, it's yeah. not that. It's not that it's crazy. Not. What he's saying. Hang on, who it's could do, who could hurt thing. you more? At his best. For me, playing against them. Prime Michael Owen running hurts running me more. Behind, pace, Ma Michael Owen pace. gives Michael Owen. You fear Michael Owen is pump. You fear playing against him mm. because every defender hates that running, mm. in that 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 running he behind. Had good feet as well, you and know. he had good, good feet. exactly, and he could finish. And the other one, the other one on this list that again might not get on with his goals. Yeah, and I don't know your experience about, but when I played against this fella, oh, so annoyingly good, Drogba. Oh yeah. Did now yeah. with that, the the conception. Around Didier Not Drogba. prolific. Yeah, is that is I think it's like twelve goals here. You know, that very rarely did he get twenty goal seasons. But my God, did you know that you were in for a game of him? And was he a big game player scoring all the biggest games? <sighs> Unbelievable. All the all the mo matters, the moments that mattered, and just being you know the term unplayable. Mm. Like can't get near him, can't get Physical. round him. Yeah, is that what it was with him? Yeah, just I, I see him do it to a lot of my partners that yeah, I've like. Yeah. I I I listen. He was hard to play against, strong. But I, I didn't, like, it wasn't one where I went into a game and I thought, right, oh, like, I'm playing against Is that just because right. he didn't have that one moment on you, though? Like, maybe, do you maybe. Know I mean? Like, specifically, directly to you. Like, how you did an Elka thing, he's like, he turned up that day and I just couldn't wear it. Like, that's yeah, specific yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, so, I don't know. We, we, we still, we still got, we still man. got, a like, beast. he was a joke, but we still, we still got people like Ian Wright. Andy Cole. And Robbie Fowler. Robbie Fowler. Robbie. I played with Robbie. Saying. Robbie was a joke. <laughs> Two footed. Too many. People think he's left footed. To the footed. point, remember you said. Harry Kane we've not even mentioned, by the way. Harry Kane we've not mentioned. 
we're, we're going to get there. Gonna, uh, yeah, we're, we've got we're two spaces. Yeah, yeah this season, is so we've got. Well, my thing was that Sergio Aguero was a non-negotiable, but well, it turns out, I think it turns out, I think if you're looking at Premier League longevity and greatness and goals Aguero. and trophies, Aguero would have to go. Because another thing, I know you're saying how quick. Michael Owen was and stuff. Electric. Aguero was sharp. Aguero was sharp in a different way. He wasn't always runs in behind. He would score. Remember that goal he scored against Liverpool against Pepperina from a sh ridiculous angle when he went yeah, out he near was, the corner flag and kind of thing by the by the goal goal line, but out towards the edge of the box and still scored. And short back lift outside the box, left foot, right foot. His left wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Do you know I first saw him played against him at Atletico. And you know when you think, Sorry, oh that. my god, he's sharp. <laughs> oh, I, did, I did, <laughs> I did in a. Um, he played with Forlan. Yeah, oh. in the, in pre-season in Holland, we played for, when I was at Sunderland. Athletic. We played Atletico and Benfica. <sighs> Some pre-season, <laughs> Atletico <laughs> playing against Forlan and, and Aguero, and then playing against Benfica, playing against Cazola, um Pablo Aymar, Saviola. <laughs> Um, Di Maria. I could finish the season. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, that was some uh, preseason. It's all right, we're testimonial. Were hey, it felt like it after. Pablo Amor, just quickly, I've got to tell player. you, World Youth Cup in uh, Malaysia, we didn't have our strongest team out there, but we, we were all right. We got through the groups and we drew Argentina. And they had Amar playing as a 10, and we didn't know him. He was 17. Cold. You, Small as well, isn't he? Oh, my God. And, and they had um, Requelme sent him mid. Oh, stop it. I know. We got stop battered. 2 1, but, but it should have been 10. Anyway, back, back, back to this, right? right? So we're going to throw Aguero in, yeah? Does yeah. Aguero, Aguero, make it? Aguero, Aguero. Yeah, sure. right, we've got so four. We've, we've got, got four. one space. So now let's talk about the honest candidates for the, candidates for the fifth spot Harry Kane, Eric Cantona. Ian Wright, this is just candidates, yeah, mm. to choose for the fifth. Andy Cole. Well, you could. Uh, Andy Cole has to be as a, as a as a contender. Special player. Very very special. So is played, there any more? I played, against, I played against him when he was at City, and I tell Still you, good. He, he taught me a lesson. Mm. He taught Andrew me a lesson. Cole, man. He's my very guy. Good. He's my hero. He taught, man. Man. he taught me a lesson. Yeah, he's my hero. Yeah, I, he, he was a joke. He mm. I, honestly, and the disrespect that he's that he gets. Or the lack of recognition that he gets for what he did with no penalties in that era as well to be third highest goal scorer for this amount of time as well. Unbelievable. Yeah, Harlan's coming through and doing all this now, and you know we'll talk about that. But I would go yeah. as far as say, and I'm with you. I'd go. I'd be saying it's got to be Kane or Cole, because mm. Kane, what he's done. I mean, look, you can talk about who you like and why you like him and playing against them. Yeah. What he's done in a savage side. For years, yeah. it's kept Spurs relevant. It's just a, he's got to be. I'm sure he's got to be in. Annie, we've got to put Kane. Kane's got to go in. Okay, yes, we've done it. Yeah. So this is how it goes. Let us know how you guys feel. This is what we've gone for. Thierry Henry. Yeah. yeah. Alan Shearer. Yeah. yeah. Wayne Rooney. Yes. Sergio Aguero. Yes. And Harry Kane. I'd now, say in that order as well. Ooh. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Definitely, I'd say it in that order. For sure. Yeah. Cool. Harry Kane's the latest to the party. This, this could be quite easy. Hey. We've gone for that I order I don't think as well. we'll always agree. No, we, no. Won't, we won't always agree. Um, and let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Um, some great stories as well with, with some of us. You know, and the by the way, we have got a list in front of us and we, we, we didn't mention him and we should, is Big Les. Yeah. Yeah. Because Les played against him. What a player. He was, well. he was hard to play against. Well, this is actually just really quickly before we move on. Let's have a little bit of an honorary mention just for a couple of minutes. Yeah. On players like that, because on that honorary mentions dish, you know, you got Jermaine Defoe. Mm. Jermaine Defoe, no unbelievable. Back, no backlift Defoe. Dennis work. Burkham didn't even get to the hundred club, but what a player! Do you know what I'm going to throw in there as well? Robbie King. Robbie King. I knew he was gonna yeah. Say that. Unbelievable Keener. striker. Oh my yeah, god! He was cold. Hundred percent. He must be up there with goals as well. You know, because yeah. he scored a load for Tottenham. Yeah, I had the pleasure of playing with him. Right. He's another one of those who scores loads of goals, but also contributes in the game. You know, like mm. sees the pictures, makes assists. Yeah. Got skills, tricks, flicks. He's got eyes in the back of his head. And the other thing with Kino that people might not know, second best trainer I've ever trained. Really? Is it? After Who was first? Years. Clint Dempsey. Really? Oh, my God. I thought he did, because he does rapping and that, you know, he does things on the side. I just thought he just... Clint Dempsey would kill you to win a game in training. <laughs> You'd have a fight with anyone to win a game and train. He'd kill what you. Guy. I like that, though. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You've got to win. You've got Ruthless, to win. Ruthless, man. I like that. Okay. I, mean, like, there's, there's, I swear there's more honorees. There's more honorees, I'm sure. What? You're talking about, like, what? 
Mark Viduka, Hasselbank, Kevin Viduka, Phillips. By the Matt way, Viduka was, Viduka was good, you know. Just, you know Viduka, was, Viduka was good. Yeah. In that Leeds mm. team, oh my goodness, he was a joke. He was hard to Kevin play Kevin Phillips won the bloody golden boot. I was a good player, Kev. In that, he in had that, that brilliant partnership with Big Nile Quinn. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, any others we're missing out of, of glaringly obvious honorary mentions? Oh my goodness. Their ghost? <laughs> Not their ghost. <laughs> Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy. Oh Rude. Wait there. Yeah, I'm rude. a disgrace. Why, oh why are you rude? <laughs> is it even honorary mention or is it rude. is it something more? No, he, he, I don't, he's, he's not, not long, not longevity. Yeah, but not, not, not longevity. longevity. If, if, if Andy Cole, if Andrew Cole is just is fifth ish, if you're looking around fifth, stop trying sixth, to push him in there. Listen, the Rude Van Nistelrooy is the best finisher I've seen at Man United. He was he was one of the few when I, in in the tunnel. And I just knew he was on the team sheet when we used to play Man U. I think goals. You said, oh, no. Yeah. Did you play in that game where he ran from the halfway line at Old Trafford when he, he, he hit someone in the face? And no, that was ran. Fulham, wasn't it? Yeah, for Fulham. No, no. I had, no, no, oh, I wasn't there I then. Know. But I played, he he, gave, he scored a couple of one game at Old Trafford where he was causing chaos. He, he was he was incredible footballer. Yeah. I don't think he scored when I played against him, I don't think. Just out. Another one that Anton only one. thinks that good unless they've done <laughs> it on him. I've realised that. Anton's like, well, when I played against him, he didn't do anything to me. Well, in the 19,000 other games he yeah, had. Yeah. No, but do you know what, though? I swear, that shows intelligence. You find the weak link yeah. and you go and play right. on them. Fair enough, fair enough, mm. fair enough. You've got, you've got a good record. But um, yes, those are our honorary mentions. If you can think of actually any more honorary mentions, I think the top five is as safe as you can probably get. I don't think there can be too much no. um, arguments about that, but do Ian let us Wright know. Ian Wright ain't had a proper mention. Right, he was class. Ian Wright ain't had a proper mention. We, we could do a whole show on this. We can't. We no, can't. We can't. But, we can't. But Uncle Ian, listen, it goes without saying. Love, yeah. Because there's some, there's some like honorary mentions that are so honorary that you don't even need to, we just mm -hmm. know. We just no, know. Right, right, he's a genius. Right, we're going to move on to the Premier League team of the year. Okay. I'm going to read it out to you and you guys at home. Who's, who's chosen this? Um, oh, it's the EA. It's the, it's the EA one. So if you want to say, oh, we're gamers, eh? what do they know? You know, but it's interesting. Yeah, we're yeah. Talk about it, okay? And let us know if what you guys think about this. It goes as follows. Aaron Ramsdale in goal, 13 clean sheets. Kieran Trippier, captain Newcastle. Maybe not to third place. Maybe not to third place. It could be captain Newcastle just to Champions League, let's say. That's, my achievement. Team, my That's team, an achievement. Which is itself. an amazing achievement, but he has been the best right back. Um, William Saliba, first season in the Premier League. Ruben Diaz, another potential title-winning campaign. Zinchenko, first season at Arsenal. Kevin De Bruyne, leaving, leading the assists 16 currently. Um, Casemiro, <laughs> leading in red cards. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Odegaard, captain in Arsenal, 15 goals, seven assists. Mo Salah, 19 Premier League goals, seven assists. Um, I think it's one more than that since this is done because he scored against yeah. the other day, so it's probably 20 now. Um, Erling Haaland, enough enough said there. Marcus Rashford, players to miss out in terms of uh, talking Saka. points. Saka, Rodri, Martinelli, any others? What does that team look like to you? Is that the team of the season? I think Rodri has to go in over Casemiro. I agree. Rodri's got to go in over Casemiro, in my opinion. Do you know I what? Agree. Do you know what's mad, right? I'm glad you said it because I've I've had this debate a few times recently. And again, people watching, you'll have your own views, but this ain't against Casemiro because I think he's different gravy. But Rodri, for me, is the best old midfielder in the world. Oh, yep. Joke. In the world. Yep. With Joke. The main job is without the ball, which he's brilliant at. But with the ball, he never loses it. Yep. And, he, and, his, and his end product's not bad. Yeah. You know, he does play Couple through the lines. Well. He's not quite got Casemiro's creativity. Casemiro sometimes hit a ball where you're like, oh. Yeah, but that's um, when he's like, kind of got like, time and space. And this is, yeah, and he, he scores the odd goal. He scores, he scores goal more, more goals than Rodri, yeah. But I tell you what's amazing about Rodri. I tell you what's amazing. I looked at this before I come on today. Because I saw this team and I thought, Rod how's Rodri not yeah. in it? His games in the last five years since he's been at City or six seasons, five or six seasons, whatever it is, he's not played less than 44 games in a season. 52, 48, 48. He does not miss a game. Mm. Brilliant. The only game he missed when Pep left him out against Chelsea in the Champions League final, idiot. Yeah, he might he probably won if he yeah, played. Exactly. Yeah, I can't really you call Pep's in Well, you know, not, he's in, just in, called in, Pep yeah, in, 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 in that moment, he wasn't in it. Sorry, Pep. He wasn't in that moment. He wasn't in that moment. No, but on a serious note, Pep said it. I saw an interview with Pep the other day and he's saying, Rodri, I've been, he's been banging on to Rodri about vacating in the middle of the pitch. For, for many years. Now we're starting to understand you sit in the middle of the pitch, don't vacate it and keep the ball moving when you need to. 
and people will speak about you. This is what's happening. Oh, he's amazing. He's a joke. He has to go. Casemiro's only come, didn't come start of the season. If either. I'm being deadly honest as a Manchester United fan, and and this when we do this, I've got to be neutral. You got. I like to call things as they are. I don't just want to have my Man United hat on and not. No, that that's down fair. As a Man City player. If I'm being honest with Casemiro, he's made a huge difference to our squad. But those suspensions, whether I think some of them were harsh red cards or not, been out for like he's missed like eight games, yeah, and the since lack he's of come back, exactly, and since he's come back from that ban. He hasn't been as good as he was no, he before hasn't. that. And Casemiro, in terms of the two types of profile of these types of holding midfielders, completely different. Casemiro, to me, is a player that can do the ugly side of the game. He's got good ring awareness, can get about the pitch. And his, his, one of his best attributes is, is knowing how to progress the ball to the players who are better on the ball, like he did his whole career with mm. like the likes of Modric, the likes of Cruz. Whereas Rodri is the one you can give it to, to set the tempo to dictate play and get your team playing. I don't look to Casemiro and say, get us playing, Cas. Like, you're going to be the guy to get it off the back four, get on the half Win turn. it, get it, give it to the good cards. Yeah, Bobby's and, I'm, and, that, and that sounds like, and do you know what, that Turn sounds Madrid like I'm Coca. playing um, Casemiro. I think he's, he's a, a bit more player. than that. Yeah, he's a bit when he's more got time that. and space, what has impressed me this year, he can hit a pass, yeah, he little can. diags, little, yeah, he little, can. little fades. That, you know, he can do that. And he comes up with some big goals as well, actually. But in terms of Rodri on the ball, I'd be biased if I said that, Casemiro is, is better on the ball and can dictate play how Rodri does. I Both think Rodri's well. the one, probably the only one I'd change. I mean, I think yeah. I, I'd also look at maybe Zinchenko. Four. I think he's been I a don't know. Than him. People, this ain't going to be a popular. Okay. This ain't gonna, no. no he's not, not played not enough. Saltfish, not saltfish. He's been brilliant. He's been brilliant. Second part of the yeah, season. saltfish has been brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it might be unpopular. Go but on. I'm just basing it off of what he's done this whole season. Dan Burn. I been, knew that was good. He's been, he's been excellent. <laughs> Dan, all right. Who's had the bigger impact on their team? Dan Byrne or Zinchenko? Zinchenko's had a bigger impact. Yeah, 100%. But in terms of consistently playing well week in, week out, with and without the ball, Dan Byrne's been better. No. Dan Byrne better on the no? ball than Zinchenko? No, he's used with the ball. Without. He's, he's used, used the ball, ball better. No, I'll tell no, you what. Let, let, it better. I didn't say that. Let me get perspective. I, I think Dan Byrne deserves great credit. Absolutely. Because no one gave him a chance. Henry I mentioned. mean, I, he, when he came to Fulham, I never thought he'd be a Premier League defender, right? He's, he's really come on leaps yeah. and bounds. And even at fullback, I thought he'd be a centre half. Yeah. He's been part of a back four. I, I think he's the best defence in the Prem, isn't it? Or was, on, yeah. was until a couple of weeks ago. So he deserves great credit for that. And, and I think he's decent on the ball. And he has had a great season, as the whole back four has at Newcastle, let's be honest. But I think Zinchenko, in terms of not just the impact he's had in terms of what you see on the pitch coming into that central midfield position, getting yeah. them playing a lot. I also think what what he what he's probably done around the place, although what I've heard, not what I've seen not, personally, of that in that the whole thing, I would have Zinchenko. I mean, and to, let's be honest, there's always a little bit of what I would choose if I had a game tomorrow. If you had a game tomorrow and you were picking your your best Prem eleven, you'd put Sinchenko in ahead of Dan. I'm looking Burn. at like, on the eye. On look at technically fantastic the eye, on the eye test. Dan Burns an awkward one, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> that's, really, that's why. That's really, why. Really that's awkward. why it might not be a pop a popular yeah, yeah. Um, choice yeah, yeah. or opinion. But I'm just saying, Newcastle have gone from a mid-table team Agreed. to being being Agreed. in the top four because of their backline, mm -hmm. and he's been significant. So should that. Sven Botman be in there instead of Saliba then? No. No, but do you know what? On Saliba, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got next year. You're on to him, isn't it? No, the only reason why I say it, I understand, <laughs> I know how hard your second year Joel? is. No, I know how hard your second year is. First year, adrenaline, people don't really know you. People don't really know how you play. The respect levels ain't really there. Mm. It's a good point. Yeah. Nick, the second year is always the hardest. Yeah, I, Listen, true. I think he's got a tremendous and unbelievable talent and, and potential. Mm -hmm. But until you see them the year right, the second yeah, year. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah, you don't know whether you don't know whether they're going to be tops or not. Yeah. In my opinion, true. The same Harlan as well. We have got to wait to see next year what he's on. I think he's just doesn't breathe. <laughs> I think you said Harlan's that. obviously the mainstay. Um, in the two other forward positions, in Salah and Rashford. Well, Salah's just done what he's always done, which is amazing. Clipper Simples. Simples really poor. Should so, he be in there over Saka, over Martinelli, Mo Salah? I think Saka's impact on Arsenal this season at times when in games when they've needed someone's been huge he's come up with some big moments really big moments um, I so think Saka should be in there before Rashford Rashford's been tops after the World Cup Saka's been tops most majority of the season that's not a bad shout you know in my opinion it's not a bad shout but From if you're playing him on the left and because Saka plays on the right I'd, I'd probably I'd, I'd have to have Salah 
just those amount of goals in a poor season for Liverpool deserves great credit. But yeah, Martinelli with 15 goals. Rashford in the and Martinelli very close. Only one goal in it. Yeah. I think over the season, more, I think you got... Over the season, I think... You'd have Martinelli over Rashford. I think he's been more consistent. Uh, M- Martinelli on the eye, watching him live, he's tops. He's so sharp. His movement's a joke. His movement's always trying to hurt you. I would. I hear you. I, I love him, but I, I... Right now, if you said to me, pick a team, I'd pick Rashford out of Martinelli. Because of what he's been doing over the last Just few... the way he looks. Because he's a better yeah, player. Yeah, the way... He's but but, player. but can, we're talking about consistency over a season. You are, yeah, and well, it's a good point. Consistency over a season, they're, they're neck and neck. Well, Martinelli scored one less than him. So consistently over a season, even if... Even, when, I, when, I, when, I was even, playing, when I was playing and I scored that goal... <laughs> Um, against Fulham over over my head. If it right. if they if they were naming um, what's it called team of the year yeah. the week after, no, I would have been in it because you didn't have it's like sixteen. No, no, but do you know what I mean? No, but do you know what I mean? But it doesn't yeah, matter like, because even, because it's here and now. One, but, no, okay. but because it's here and now. What he's saying is Rashford's had an amazing three or four months, and Martin yeah. had a really good eight months. Exactly. Yeah. And but they still bit, end up, but and there's they, a big di- and there's a big difference in that. But if they still end up with that amount of goals collectively across uh, and, and, and Rashford has had no rest and has obviously a lot more goals than all these in all competitions because he's had to go in everything. He's got 29, hasn't he? In all comps. Rashford's been up there as a, in a goal scoring yeah. season no, with, I go, with um, Osserman. Uh, 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 you've you've done yeah. the argument. <laughs> right. There you go. But the 29 goals has done him. Rashford, but, but Rashford. to be fair, you could argue that my points are valid because this is just a Premier League thing. You could come back and say that. Yeah, true. If you want. True. I don't want to. <laughs> because, okay. No, because Rashford is tremendous. Yeah. A yeah. fantastic player. There's and a few Newcastle players you feel a little bit are done by, I reckon. Who are we talking? Um, Isak, Bruno Gimmerich. No, not Gimmerich. Bruno's done well, but not ahead of Rodri. You Sven could Botman. argue the other two lads in midfield have been... Tr- like people, Longstaff, people, Joe Linton. Longstaff and Joe Linton have been the legs in that team. Over De Bruyne, no, over Rodri. Of course, that's why you win. Over not. Odegaard, but I'm saying they'll feel all done by because they've played so well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Got to give them mention. Got to give them a mention. Yeah, yeah. Um, just at goalkeeper, we didn't even have a conversation. Pope. There ain't no conversation. Pope? Pope, well, David Hay has actually got maybe. the most clean sheets. Yeah, but <laughs> come on. Come but on. obviously, it's not him. Um, yeah, because of the now, though, because of a mistake on. I don't want to bring up Felix. No, because I mean? of this season. No, no, but I don't want to make it up. It's because of the no, season. I don't want to bring up just because what happened on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, 1 0. Listen, yeah. I just wanted to make no, sure because Moyes of was that, safe because you lot all want no, him out. So now we can go in the of, conference league, no, keep you safe, and then you all want Moyes Because in. of that, <laughs> because this is it's so prominent because it happened on the weekend, mm. he ain't going to get a mention. No, That's but even, no, but even before that, he wouldn't have got it. Because he's made other boo-boos this year as well. Yeah, he just he's, hasn't he, been he, it. No, of course. He's but, made some big saves as well. But, but when you look at the saves that Ramsdale's made this year. Mm. De has made some big saves, you know. I know, I know. Ramsdale's the right choice. Ramsdale's right. And Hope, Kieran, Hope would be pushing it. And is Kieran Trippier the right choice? Yes. Yeah, yeah, very simple. I'm looking at it out there. That's it, I think. There's no other honorary mentions for anyone else. That is the team, mm-hmm. right? So we agree with that. The only change that the boys made was Casemiro for Rodri, or Rodri for Casemiro, should I say. And there was a little bit of a fight from Anton, measly fight, poor take um, for Rashford. Let um, me know Martin your Nelly. thoughts, guys. But actually, you Let know me what? know your thoughts. In the comments, it ain't going to be that wild, actually. I think a lot of Let me know your comments. Do you know what? Just on this, because we'll deviate from the plan a little bit. I yeah. think it's important what you're talking about. We've t- we just touch on keepers, you being United. But I'm interested in Anton's opinion as well. I, I, I've been quoted as saying that I think if United want to try and win the league and compete, they need a new goalie. Correct. Now, De Gea's been great. Mm-hmm. No doubt. Yeah. But to move forward in terms of how winning the league now, you need possession based team playing out from the back. They got Varane, they got Martinez, they've got Casemiro players like that, all comfortable playing out. You need a keeper who can play out, no? What yeah, definitely. Think? Definitely you need a keeper that's got good feet, one hundred percent. So why is they saying he's, they've offered him the deal? The the reason why they offered him the deal, I think, is quite complex and there's a lot of things going in David Hayes' favour, i.e. what's going on with the ownership and how much money Manchester United have to spend. That's right. helping him. So here's the thing. I agree. I've been, and people watching this will know from watching United View when I've been on other platforms, I have tried. I've tried to back the hair to the cows come home up until recently. And some may say I didn't see the light until very, very late. <laughs> and, and I can accept that. When I'm, when I'm wrong or I get proved with new evidence that I'm wrong, I will always hold my hands up and say, yeah, bloody hell. But David De Gea has this in his favor. The fact that Eric Ten Hag's looking at it like this in his office, he's saying, right, We've got actually the most clean sheets in the league because our defence actually has improved. We have, uh, although we've been we've been battered in a lot mm-hmm. of games, like away from home, like in the city and the Liverpool. Actually, 
Olympic our biggest, uh, we lost one nil. Um, <laughs> our biggest problem that we have at the moment is we're not scoring enough goals. My number nine situation at Man United is awful. Martial, enough is enough. See you later. Valve Records is four million quid on loan from Besiktas slash Burnley. We know that. <laughs> we've had stop gaps in Igalo. We've had stop gaps in Cavani. We've, you know, we haven't. Falcao. Falca we haven't had a proper striker since Van Persie. And even that was a stop gap as well, because that was a couple of years. So we actually haven't had a proper mainstay striker mm. probably since Van Istroy. You know, if you're really being honest, I know Rooney done his thing up there. Tevez, you know, Berbatov came. But I mean, the actual number nine. And Eric Ten Hogs going. The reports are saying that Manchester United, due to FFP and with the Glazers and the situation at the club, is the reason why we can only do four million quid in, in, in January. You ain't got any money. They've taken all the money out. So Ten Hag's like, I don't know how much money I got. The majority of my budget must go no on Harry Kane or Osserman or Vlajevic or whoever yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, Manchester United do not control football matches. In midfield, we need, I'm saying, two, two technical players in the, in the mould or ilk of Frankie De Jong, which is why we chased him so long, a player that can dictate play, be press resistant, travel with the mm. ball. We need two of them. I like that. Press resistant. Press resistant. Nice. We yeah, need two of them. Nice. And then... The YouTube thing. <laughs> Social media, <laughs> isn't it? Social media. That, them, them terms weren't around when you guys played. Right? It's just like, if you get into him, can he keep the ball, yes or not? Yeah. yeah. yeah press resistant. Yeah. Um, and then, She's obviously, the keeper is a problem as well in terms of playing out for the back. So basically, oh, no, I hear you. But hold he just minute, can't bro. afford to do it. Hold That's minute. why. You got one out on loan who's brilliant with his That's going to be the answer. That's Dean the, Henderson. 100%. We're going to have to, I think we're going to have to bring him back. Give him a go. And, and I think, I think Ten Hag's going better the devil I know for one more year. Excuse yeah. the pun. And while I fix the striker <laughs> position, fix this with not knowing what money I've got because I work on the glades. Because I agree, David De Gea is going to be the highest paid goalkeeper in the league still. Because he's going to drop from sort of three seven five down to two hundred, no, okay, like which is insane. But if you price up, you have to spend fifty million and then give one. another player a hundred k a week yeah. for a four year contract. What's cheaper right now? And I think Man United are penny pinching, and that is tying the manager's hands. Because I don't believe when Ten Hag says I want him here and all of that, it's because I think he knows he has to have him ah, here. Okay. The same way when Harry Maguire very, first, very, when he first very came well in. explained that. Mm. Bit well long winded. Well I could be wrong, well but explained. you know, but it is time for him to be. That was like that was flying the wall type stuff. Like <laughs> you've been in Ten Hag's <laughs> office. Well, you know, maybe it's the Man United <laughs> side, but that is the reason why I think he will stay. Not because Ten Hag actually. That, that makes sense. You know, makes um, sense. But actually, moving on to that and Manchester United, we're going to talk about the top four race. Mm. Actually, you, you know what? Liverpool, Liverpool have done well recently. Can they catch Man United? <laughs> I, I don't think so. Don't you? <laughs> and I'm not saying that because I'm, I don't want to jinx it, but I, I'd love Liverpool to do it because I love watching. I love going to matches when it's Champions League nights at Anfield. I took my boy recently and I don't want to miss that for a season. I think he's a Real Madrid one. Europa, yeah. Oh. Europa League, we don't want to be doing that. I don't yeah. think Liverpool really want to be doing that. Yeah. What's, what's wrong with it, man? We're in it. No, What's nothing done? wrong with it. I've been in it? two finals. I've, it's been oh, great sorry. for me. But sorry. you're in a conference league, mate. You're not. So in what? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a step. To add, oh, what? Do you know what I mean? That's why. That's why. That is why. Yeah, it's got a word. It's uh, got the yeah, conference. Get the right uh, one right. You're not uh, in the Europa. League. The word conference. He's in that. He's in that. Now he's going to the weekend. Weekend. The word conference is there for reason. No, but what happened the weekend? Conference. No, no. They play on Thursdays in that. Do we? Yeah. Is it on Friday? If we win it, Friday If we win it, what happens? If we win it, you might not be in the Europa League. Of course we will. No, we take a spot, don't we? No, we'll be in it. If we finish, um, if we finish it's big fifth, ifs. we'll be in. We'll be in. Big it. ifs, but we'll be in the Champions League anyway. <laughs> you well. The reason <laughs> I, there's hope in that. There's hope in that. Me say the that. reason I think you will is is three home games out of four. We've only lost one at home all season. United or home are a different beast. They've been poor on the road. Danny, pressure though. It's you're talking man. about top class international players, Danny. Mate. I'm we're they talking about top class internationals going I, to West Ham and Brighton. I hope with everything in me <laughs> that they mess it up. I you really do, it. but I can't see it. And the problem is, even if you look at Newcastle, Newcastle got four games. They got some dodgy ones. Mm, one. Brighton. Yeah. That's the only one I but looked if at. If they lose one and Liverpool keep winning but and Man United. Newcastle only need seven points. That's true. They need two wins and a draw out of four games. And they are really good at short. They won't games. get a loss and a, and a draw. Do you know? Well, seven points for Newcastle does it, so I think they're in. United, three home games. put nine on the board. Nine on the board. And Liverpool, unfortunately, we've seen it many too times. Too little, too late. Well, they're playing well, and this is the best run they've had. You'll win your games. I think so. You'll win there. But Liverpool do throw the odd game in where you go, where's that come from? 
They visited, in this mode though, last three games. You won't not. Because even the last couple of wins, the Brentford and the Fulham one were, you know, you just got by. Got by. But yeah. that's and the West you need Ham to game do. And, and the West Ham, yeah, one nil up from Paqueta and then, yeah. yeah, they came back into it. So they've just been getting by, but that just breed, I just think they'll get over line. I think the best thing about Liverpool's finish this season, if they do win all the games and even if they don't get in, is it gives everybody a little bit of belief that, it does. hold on. We are a decent side again. Yeah. And you finish the season on a bit of a buzz. Just fix the midfield. Yeah. The, the only problem is for Liverpool is the Europa League is, is although that yeah, you go in it and you try and win it, it it will be a hindrance, I think. Mm. Just know one thing. If West Ham win the conference league mm. and stay up, mm. yeah. They are staying up. Yeah. And May United drop out of the top four. I've got questions. Mm. Oh, I've got big I questions. I going to say you've had a better season. I've got big questions. I didn't ask the question. I've got big oh, questions. Yeah, okay, well, you can ask away. Uh, no, I don't need to away. ask them right now, but I've got big yeah. questions. Well, if guys. that happens, you can ask away. I will do. But it's not going to. I will do. Yeah. Massive here's, questions. here's the thing for me, right, as a Man United fan. I, I am massively worried, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. Yeah, you hear, but no, but it's not just I can a, hear it in your voice not, as well. That's what's even <laughs> you can, better. You could even hear it in the text I sent you. You could hear it in the words I was typing. The yeah. reason why I'm massively worried is because of the mentality and momentum shift. I'm going to say this. If we don't beat Wolves, we won't get in the top four. Because it would still be in our hands then. You just have to win the next three. But the psychological damage and the momentum shift of Spurs 2-0 up, 45 minutes to basically say you're in the Champions League. Screwed it up. Scraped it against Villa. Back-to-back -back losses against West Ham and Brighton. Oof. And then not beating Wolves. And then saying... Turn it on. Give me three wins in a row. One of them I, is I, away to Bournemouth as well. I hear you, but I think the Bryant game had enough chances to win two games. Correct. And I think West Ham are in control till De Gea don't know what he was like, fell yeah. over, whatever he was yeah. doing. Yeah. yeah. And that's being kind. So you I, think we just calm down? Rashford, Rashford looks sharp. It, last couple of games, Danny, I'll be honest. No, but he's got a bit between his teeth. Oh, he's getting I in great know, positions. The, last of games the goals been, will come. A bit. I watched the goals are dried up, Danny, no, in his last sort of 10 games. I'll tell you what, though. Really, hasn't he? When I when I was playing, if say for instance my striker wasn't getting into positions, I'd be worried. Mm, exactly. But if someone's getting into position, yeah, they're, just, yeah. they're not they're just not executing. Mm. You know, at some point it's going to drop for them. You yeah. know, at some point it's going to happen. Mm. So I wouldn't be worried when it comes. He's, you're saying, oh yeah, he's getting he's getting into position, but he's not doing it. He's not doing. He's not doing that. Mm. Not executing. That's the least of the worries. If someone's not getting in positions, there's there is a problem. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, he's always in the right position, but it's his, his decision making Relax. sometimes. I, I don't know about that. Do you know you what? won't I be saying that in the group. Then you I know, can't watch, wait against Wolves. What we play I can't fast wait well. to be in here if they if if, if they mess I ain't it coming. up. If they mess it up, I'll be I'll be in here. Just know I've got big questions coming. If everything happens that I said, listen, you can just worry happen. about your own team. Yeah, don't you? I don't. You, you can carry about me. I'm fine. And you worry about you, we're, we're, the we're semi-final right, Thursday we're night. Safe. Yeah, we're you safe. just worry we're about safe. that. We're good. Not if you win. Uh, if you lose a bunch of games, I look Forest, and that could be coming. No, Everton, look fine. at Everton the other we're day. Fine. Yeah, they're coming. We're fine. We're fine. I know. Just to finish off on this segment, actually, on West Ham, Declan Rice, Declan Rice, highly tipped to go to Arsenal. A lot of rumours that he's. Uh, going to leave at the end of the season. Um, from a West Ham perspective as a fan and just, you know, you looking from the outside in as well, will West Ham be able to keep him? Or is this it? Um, I think this will be it. If I'm being really honest, it kills me to say because he's such a, a fantastic player and a massive part of our team. Um, but I think for him and for us as a club, I think it's time. You know, I think... Um, he's given everything that he can to the football club. Yeah. You know, and if we do win the, the Conference League, that's a perfect sign off. Mm. But even if we don't, for what he's done for this football club, absolutely, he deserves to go to Pastures New to go and try and win the Premier League, which he deserves with that talent. He's got great talent. He's been brilliant for West Ham, and, he, and you're right, he's given everything. His, he, his durability, I mean, the amount of games he plays yeah. and how fit he is, credit to the lad. Yeah. Um, he's a humble lad. He's, he's, he's desperate to do well, and, and you can't blame him for wanting to go and win the biggest, play at the biggest, the biggest stadiums and against the biggest teams. Irrelevant of where he goes, could be Arsenal, could be Chelsea, could be Man U, could be Liverpool, wherever it goes, because they don't no, not, I'll just say one, one thing, though. Murph. 
You can't go Chelsea. That's the only shirt I don't want to see you in is a blue Chelsea Why not? shirt. What about what's best for Declan and his family? No, I don't, don't want to see him in that shirt. None of us West Ham fans want to see him in that shirt. No, the thing is, he's Chelsea fan. I don't want him fan. in that. Exactly. Yeah, Chelsea but, fan, you know. but I don't, I don't want to see you in that. I don't, I don't think um, it matters where he goes because he's that good. He'll fit mm. in, yeah. right? Yeah, he can play for any of them. Yeah, and I think he'll play Champions League comfortably and I think he'll win lots in his career. What I would ask you quickly is, do you think that he, he'll become more of an eight than a four. Because I think he's got goals in him. Yeah. I think, imagine him, or let's give you an example. I think he'd play, if he played with Rodri behind him, mm -hmm. and De Bruyne, and so we say he took Gundogan's Gundogan. place. More life I think he's getting forward. dozen goals. I think yeah. he's getting 12, 15 goals a season. Yeah. I, f I think... That's why I think Maybe Arsenal, ten. Arsenal's, yeah. Arsenal's, <laughs> <laughs> and City. Yeah. That's why I think Arsenal's the perfect fit for him. So would you, if he goes to Arsenal, I'll play him in the eight. I would not play him. Play him where because look how far I'll play him where Jacker. I'll for, play him yeah. where Jacker is. Him and Party. Him and Doneo. I say not Party because <laughs> we've been playing like Party. Donato. Listen, they need another defensive. No, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, he can do both. both. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. if Partey's having a Doneo moment yeah, and yeah. he's partying too hard yeah. off the pitch that he can't do on the pitch, then you play him in, in, in yeah, the, yeah. in the yeah, six in, yeah. and you play Xhaka in the eight. Yeah. But if if Thomas Partey's about, you play him in the six and you play Declan in the eight. Because Declan yeah. Declan's got, can drive with the ball. I can do it all. He can do all of that. He can pass the ball and he's got goals in him. I, I don't think Liverpool will be in because of the money, the amount, but I'd love him there. I, I think, think he's. I think he really is tops. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, it looks like he is gonna uh, move on to pastures. Yeah. And he'd actually, be good at your place. He as well. would imagine him next to Casemiro. No, 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 no. no. You don't need to go there. You don't, don't need be, to go yeah, there. No, he won't. See, you just won't want to see it because you know what I'll be onto. But we. No. The reason why he wants to be honest, mate, he wants to win things. Exactly. The reason why you don't. Well, he ain't going to win there. The Europa League. The reason why I don't see him at Man United. I don't see him at Man United. They're still in transition. They're still like. Yeah. It's not guaranteed to go no. and start winning. What is Arsenal? Over in the, I think Arsenal's got a bit better chance. He improves. Is Arsenal, Arsenal guaranteed to go win? The only he guarantee no, is City. He, he yeah, only guarantees. Yeah, exactly. But he improves Arsenal to get them closer to City. He does, yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. City's but a But if Man United I mean, are going to start going in the right direction, getting players like him is going to close that gap. Just the same way how when when everyone when when Arsenal bought players like Ben White. And bought players um, like but like Odegaard, etc. When they bought them in the Ramsdale, they've helped them close the gap to get to where they are now. Yeah, and, look, and, and they're, they're, and they're, they're three, knocking on doors. And they're two, three seasons on. Exactly. So, so maybe I got to start somewhere with getting players like him. But he's, but, yeah, but for me, you're talking he'll about. Have, he'll have, well, I think he'll have a good choice, won't he? We can't afford exactly. Him. I don't. Yeah. I just. I just think. And exactly, you're going. For, your priority is number nine. You're not getting a, a, a eight and a nine. No. We're not. Uh, well, well, we are, we are, but not one that costs a hundred odd million. Mm. Exactly. So Rio, Rio, stop saying Declan <laughs> to Manchester because it ain't happening. Right? It'd be amazing, <laughs> but I just can't see how we can afford it. So there you have it. Show complete. Another one in the bag. Mm. Worst take of today. What do you think it was? Damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys let me know. Jesus. Is that no. a bad take Mate, or I not? I thought he's played the game. Come Leave on. off you. What? Come Dan on. Burn. He's been yeah, consistent. He has been good, but come on, team of the year. I'm just putting it out Best there for the viewers. The viewers, oh, you let us mate. know what's going let on. Let us know if that was the worst take of reverse. today. Reverse, I mean, oh. reverse. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let us know as well with our top five as well. That is going to be a new feature going through um, all of our episodes. And our, um, we kicked it off today with the Premier League strikers. And I think we had a pretty solid it's list. Good, if you yeah. lot are disagreeing with that, you're just doing it just, just for the sake of it. So as per usual, smash a like on this video and make sure you guys get subscribed uh, to five on the road to one million. Take care. We'll see you again next week. Peace.